Trump's VP pick, Mike Pence, gave a terrifying speech on the floor of Congress back when he was a representative, and he explains here where many of his ideas came from. And that would be Rush Hudson Limbaugh III, a man born in Cape Girardeau, Missouri on January 12, 1951. He will be extolled on this floor tonight by many of my colleagues as we come together uh, during a time of great difficulty for the Limbaugh family and to remember his contribution to the country. And so I rise briefly tonight. There are many of my colleagues, particularly those that were elected, Mr. Speaker, in in uh, 1994 who will look to this pioneer in talk radio uh, and will credit him in part uh, for their election to the Congress of the United States, and that would be true. Uh, and in many ways, the Republican majority owes uh, much of its uh, continued success to a talk radio that Rush Limbaugh reinvented uh, in the mid-1980s as a format for a conversation among millions of Americans on a daily basis. But it is a literal truth, Mr. Speaker, to say that uh, I am in Congress today because of Rush Limbaugh, and not because of some uh, a tangential impact on my career or his effect on the national debate, but because, in fact, after my first run for Congress in 1988, it was the new a national voice emerging in 1989 across the heartland of Indiana uh, of one uh, Rush Hudson Limbaugh III that captured my imagination. And while I would run for Congress again and lose, uh, I was inspired by those dulcet tones to seek a career in radio and television. I began my career in radio in Rushville, Indiana, in Rush County in 1989. But it was not the formatics that drew the audience to Rush Limbaugh. It was not the gimmicks, it was information, verifiable fact, and an undaunting willingness to speak the truth boldly. Rush Limbaugh is a guy who thinks that climate change is a hoax. He's been saying this for years. Scientists across the country shudder at that reality. That somebody who's a radio host who, at one time, did have millions of listeners. Now, very few people listening. But that guy had some degree of power, and he was pushing these blatantly false anti-scientific claims. It's, it's not just climate change either. It gets worse. He also thinks evolution is false. This is a guy who the next VP might have listened to and thought, absolutely nailed it there. He nailed it there, talking about how the zombie Jew carpenter walked on water. Totally true. Totally true. And Rush is a guy who's advocated the debunked trickle-down economics theory. Every time it's been implemented, what happened directly after it was an economic crash. It led to an economic crash, in one case the Great Depression, in another case the Great Recession. It was, you know, deregulation. And the repeal of Glass-Steagall, which to be fair happened under Bill Clinton, but a lot of Republicans voted for it, and that's their ideology and their mindset. That's what led to the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession. This guy looks at that and goes, let's do more of that. That's his whole economic philosophy is totally incorrect, and he's been arguing for it all these years. And this is a guy that the next potential VP might be one of his intellectual heroes. And, naturally, he's also against social safety nets, duh. He also is big time in favor of torture. When Remember when Abu Ghraib happened and there were those pictures of just out-and-out out disgusting torture? Rush Limbaugh defended that. He defended it. Again, Mike Pence is like, that's my guy. And, naturally, Rush said that drug users should get hard time in jail, and then he got outed as a drug abuser himself. He was taking dozens of OxyContin every day. He was buying them off his maid or something. And the authorities caught wind of it and they cut some sort of deal. But there are obviously recordings of Rush on his show talking about how drug users should go to jail for a long time. The problem is not the disproportionate crackdown of black people versus white people. He says, no, just punish white people more. That's what you got to do. Make it even in how much we crack down on people for taking drugs because drugs are bad. And then when he takes it, oh, look at that. He didn't uh, voluntarily turn himself over and try to go to jail. Weird. Weird how that works. He's a fucking 
liar and he's a moron, this guy Rush Limbaugh. We've covered a million stories. I'm not sure the guy's ever said anything that's factually true. He's so consistently wrong. And Mike Pence, his career and his life was shaped by Rush Limbaugh. That's a scary thought, man. That's a really scary thought.